you see when I'm going out for a wee recce or uh, somewhere else for an explore from the camp, um, searching for water, hunting, um, I'll generally just take my bushcraft belt and um, my satchel bag. Um, on other occasions you could top flap a day sack uh, in your bergen um, and go out and use that, but for what I need, really I don't really need that. I mean I can fit enough in the satchel bag to keep me going over short distances or however far I'm going. Um, but I'll just show you basically what I carry. You'll have seen my bushcraft belt. Um, I just got a new one last year. Uh, I was using the Blackhawk belt, one that I made myself, um, adding stuff to it. Um, but I got one custom made um, by RJ um, Bushcraft Store. It's a good belt. It's got the Cobra clip on it. Um, and then it's made from leather as well. So it does the job. But when I'm in my camp, the bare minimum I'll have on me is my knife. Uh, I take that off and put it in my normal belt. Uh, when I'm sleeping or um, just generally knocking around the camp and I don't need my full bushcraft belt on. But I'll chop and change between the two, but that would be the bare minimum of having camp because it's an essential bit of kit. And I'm still going for the Mora Garberg. Uh, it's just an awesome, awesome knife. Um, you can't go wrong with it. Um, and I always keep it well maintained. Um, I'll just put a wee dab of oil in that now, I think. So I just use... Um, vegetable oil, like walnut oil or um, anything else really, the, the goose fat. Um, you don't want to use something that's cancerous um, for obvious reasons if you're cutting meat. But it's good just to keep it waterproof, especially with the overcast weather today. I carry my various equipment. If I've got two uh, rest of them rods, got a wee pouch you got from RJ's again there. Um, that's a bigger one, um, and I've got a smaller one. It just clips on there, a reindeer antler. Um, I've got my catapult, as you've seen before. I've got my uh, ball burns. I've got my spur knife, my um, Swiss Army Hunter. Uh, I've went away from carrying the Leatherman as well. It was just too too much overkill. Um, and then I've got my wee admin pouch there uh, with some snares in it. Um, and I keep my head torch in there as well. Which I forgot to take out of my pocket last night when I was to bed. That's one thing I do. I put my head towards my pocket as well when I'm uh, sleeping. So, in here, say I've got my head torch, um, my snares, uh, some paracord, a wee bit of electrical tape. Um, I've got a spare battery for my mag light, which you carry there. I'll just start carrying that as well. A wee mini mag light. Um, and I've carabiner it on so it doesn't fall off with a lanyard. Yeah, I've got a tic tac box with uh, my three uh, head torch batteries, the triple A's. Sorry, there's a wee spool as well with uh, some fishing line on it. Myself, what I will generally carry on me um, is some water purification tablets. You know, um, I've got loads of them, I've got some in my food bag as well. But um, you can buy these in uh, eBay pretty cheap and they'll do the job, and you generally put one in per litre. Uh, leave it for half an hour. Um, so yeah, that, that's a good option. I should always carry them on you, just in case. You know, it's something you can just put in initially when you get the water. Um, that's that. So um, this is another good bit of equipment I've got. It's a wee small survival tin. Um, and again, it's got some copper wire for making snares, some matches. A um, bit of tin foil, uh, paracord bracelet, so that's more paracord. Um, but the main thing in this is uh, this bit of rubber tubing that I can use to put over the water bottle that I'm collecting the water with, uh, with a um, sweat rag or a cloth, uh, and that will filter out any sediment. But it's good to have that, and that keeps the survival tin waterproof as well. It's just a wee mini one. So again with the snaring as well, you have to look out for the laws of the, the country. Um, I've only got them in there, there for an emergency. I won't generally use them, to be fair, because um, I've no permission around here to go snaring. They're just there as a purely part of my survival kit. I just keep them in there and only to be used in an emergency. Just general rabbit snares. So moving on, I've got a wee first aid pouch. I bought that in the castle on. It does the job. Um, and within this, I've got one of my main bits of kit, as well as some first aid stuff. I've got a thermal blanket, 
um, and that, that's good as well because that's you know that could be the element to cover um, and to keep you warm. Uh, so I've got that. But uh, I've got my Sears water filter. That's about twenty pound. I think I got it for on um, Amazon. Um, and basically, it screws into um, a lot of bottles, just generic sort of drinking bottles. Comes with this wee straw as well, so you can put that on and drink straight from the source. Um, but yeah, it's, it's quite good, and 99.9% .9 of germs apparently it destroys, so I'll generally use that. And it comes with a syringe that you can clean out as well uh, to clean it out. So it's a 0 0.1 microns absolute hollow fibre membrane water filter. So yeah. And another thing it comes with is the wee bottle, the wee squeezy bottle. I mean it's not meant to be that good, but it falls down to nothing and that can then be placed into my pouch there, as you can see. Um, so I'll carry that on me for emergencies. So yeah, it's quite good. It's got the wee instructions on how to use there. And then it's got the instructions on how to backwash. Uh, that's 16 ounces of uh, water that can take. But again, the Sears filter just screws into there. And then you can squeeze that. That's just a good thing to have for filling up with water. You know. So the straw just about fits in there. And that zips up nicely that pouch and that stays on me at all times um, so yeah that's what I'll carry in the bushcraft belt for water purification so moving on to the satchel bag it's quite handy having this it's good for foraging um, and such uh, I've got a coca-cola bottle might be a bit silly me carrying that but I can use it for collecting water and also if I get the Sears filter out again some bottles don't fit the Sears filter, like Highland Spring, I believe it doesn't fit, but the Coca-Cola bottle does. So, I mean, that crushes down the nothing. You can uh, filter your water that way. Uh, then you can blow into it to uh, obviously expand it, so you can crush that down and minimise room. Maximise room, even. So, another good bit of kit, battle winning bit of kit I've got, is my Pathfinder mess kit. Um, the Pathfinder bottle and the Pathfinder uh, mug. Uh, the bottle's just the real good bit of kit. Um, and I keep my two, my sport and my um, spoon in there just to stop it from rattling. rattling. Um, this obviously for collecting water and boiling it. Um, which is really quite good and it's made from stainless steel, it's not going to warp. Um, and you can just uh, collect your water and boil it in that straight away. So that's quite good that. I've heard a lot of people carry these, doing videos and saying they carry these um, with no water in it um, and like a bandana in it. Like what, what's the point? If you're going out you might as well fill it up with water. That's just daft. Um, obviously I'm going out looking for water so I'll be taking it to carry the water but going out with minimising not having water with you just it's, it's silly. You can use a pot or something. Um, so another thing I carry is my sweat rag or a bandana or whatever you can use um, and basically what you can do is you can put that over the top like so and to stop the sediment getting in and I use that rubber a uh, bit of rubber as, as I've shown you there um, and I put it round to hold it so you can filter the water in so yeah that's quite good as well and then just other things I've got in there I've just got my uh, gloves my working gloves and a mat of the area. Now I've got wee bits and pieces here that I'll take out in case it comes an emergency out there um, and I need stuff on me uh, if I'm boiling in water and I'm quite far safety now because uh, I, I burnt my hand a while ago um, so I carry this wee bag with just wee things in it for using for removing stuff from the fire. That's uh, my Pathfinder uh, mug lid so that's good because uh, you can obviously boil water faster with that um, when that's on there and there's the wee gaps so you can fit your uh, chain into or whatever you're using 
um, and also if you tip it upside down like it's draining tools um, but I haven't really used that because uh, I'm a bit dubious because it'll be quite hot after coming off the fire so that's uh, a good bit of kit there um, another thing I carry is a fish mouth spreader um, and a wee chain and that chain can go into the holes of my um, Pathfinder mug like so and these are uh, come with the holes in it, you don't have to pre-drill them. It's on there. And you got a container for boiling with. And it's so light, so small that you can just carry that. So it just all snugly fits into one sort of unit. And I'll genuinely use that. Um, another thing I have is my wee uh, grabber that I just keep in there. It's no extra weight. Um, and it's just a, a battle winning bit of kit as well because um, you're able to pick pots up when they're hot. I just put that all together so it doesn't rattle because it gets stuff rattling. So that would be a, a must buy I'd say if you're starting the bushcraft. Um, I just think it was, it's quite expensive really for the Pathfinder bottle and mug but it's worth it. So worth it. And you get two wee sports that'll just fit in nicely and hold in place and you've got a full mess kit. And that'll just uh, go into my satchel bag. Um, got the wee uh, cigar cases as well, keep them for collecting tinder in. Got the Dayton website, actually far start tinder. And then what I can do is I can just pour the water into that and filter it accordingly. Um, so that's what I'll take out with me today. Pour my stats in as well, I think. Just uh, I might be having a go at some opportune targets. There's a few rabbits I've seen there before um, about the area um, and some pigeons. So if I do see anything, um, I'll have a pop at it with a catapult. Um, why not? Um, could be an extra bit of food for me. But that will keep the shadow out of my eyes and my face. Um, 